I think George Bush, President of the United States, is misrepresenting the facts the same way that he did in 2003, claiming that there were weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. Three and a half years later, the world has seen that there has not been any weapons of mass destruction in Iraq and Iran is not representing any threat to any country in the neighborhood or across the oceans. Iran has not had a war. Iran has not waged an aggressive war against any country in the last 100 years. The only war which was um, imposed on the Iranian people and the Iranian government was when the United States armed Saddam Hussein Iraq to attack Iran. That was the only war that I remember in the last 100 years. We are not a threat. The, as the nuclear energy is a civilian nuclear energy. It is for peace and production of energy. And IAEA, International Agency of Atomic Energy uh, Agency, has been in Iran in the last four and a half years. According to El Baradi, the head of the AIEA, they have not found that any portion, any part of the nuclear substance of, the, uh, of uranium has been transferred to any other kind of uh, production of any other kind of devices. Therefore, three and a half years is enough. Iran cannot accept the condition posed by the European powers and the United States that Iran must not enrich uranium. Enrichment of uranium according to the Article 4 of uh, non-nuclear uh, uh, non-proliferation treaty is the right of all nations on earth. The United States cannot deny us our right to science and technology. Thank you.